Hey guys, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're trying to find Mr. Lin so we can get our airship back. Welcome to the Good Time Club, sir or madam. Where's our science floor? Yeah, this is the Good Time Club, huh? Think. My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Hmm. You're the one who, like, sold me out. Why the hell would I help that guy? Time comes to Shantytown. Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man <laughs> Lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. That's all we have. Not oh, great. Son of a bitch. Fire and fury. Let's go. Can I not die this time? Wow. Ugh. Okay. Maybe not dying is too much of a thing. Smarter this time. Ah! 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 Ah!
Jesus. Come on. 
Get okay. Get oh, I gotta take out that big end. Got peppered. No, 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 fucker! Do it! All right. Oh, oh. these troops. God damn it. Been dying too much. in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. That the one. Oh. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Okay, so that was rough. Look, there's a door over here. Thanks. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. All right, let's go. Assaults, take them! Catch, Booker! 
Cell number nine. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Got a lock, needs picking. Come on, give me something challenging. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. All yours. What it deciphers. No. Let's keep an eye out. Okay. Could always use some salt. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Oh, what's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. They treat them like animals. Before he escapes! Better. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this. Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Perfect garden, or drown your flock under an ocean of water. Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? Man, what a dick. We're looking for number nine. Open this. Oh man, I got the wrong one. There. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All yours. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas.
Okay, that does not look good. Can't see anything. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Who the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. He was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but... <sighs> it's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. What the... If we go into this here, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Do it. Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. There's a world where the Vox are winning.
Okay, let's go. These men. I killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're they're all bleeding. I'm disgusting. Disgusting. Sick. 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 Okay, this is all weird. Which one hates which? Jeez. What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. Hey! What is going on here? Says Mark. Has my head of security. Well, that's new. Try to keep you soft. Shit, if we're not around. Other world. This whole business makes my head hurt. Gunsmith set free. Jesus. 
Jesus. Fink isn't giving you the job. Chen Lin's doing. Do you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a 
figure of Comstock now. Great. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin. Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. You know my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. What the hell? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little <clears throat> Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns and Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Let's go. you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Oh, let's go. Okay, you know what?
What is this? Shanty town? What's this? What's this? We're going to a slum. What's this? What's this? It's called Shanty Town and Home. Vending machine. Add dollar bill. mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Shit. Jesus, for real? First aid! Booker, catch! Nice! Jesus! Yeesh. That shot. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. Seem ridiculous. Nah, I've seen it a couple times before. I am not going back to that tower, no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you next time. Peace.